Let's talk about the latest and greatest AI generated coding app, Bolt.new. This thing is very, very interesting and I wanted to make a video about it. Now, one thing that I find particularly interesting about Bolt.new is just how quick and easy it is to actually use. And also the fact that you can run things locally within its own environment on the app. So Claude, for example, it kind of does that, but not really. But this one, you can really, really start to understand how you could use it to create something useful. So I saw this at the bottom here, start a blog with Astro. Now, I didn't really fully understand how to make a blog without something like WordPress until I used this app. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, create me a classic menswear blog um, with 15 blog posts, 10 pillar pages. Now, you would probably want to tell um, Bolt what to use and what to make, but I'm just going to let it do what it wants. Pages um, that really thoroughly, that internally link to one and other, and also use, I don't know, placeholder images for the content. Make sure the articles have tables and lists and other interesting parts of uh, an article. Uh, use Astro. So basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make a blog in as little time as possible. And to be honest with you, this thing kind of does this, <laughs> as you can see, pretty bloody easily. Now, the cool thing about this is this will probably rank on Google. Now, I'm not saying it's going to 100% rank on Google, of course. You'd have to make the content good, and you'd have to you know, have an image system built into this. But I didn't know that you could do this. Like, I can already start to see how I would now do things like you know, have uh, you know, AI images in here, make better content. Everything will have um, featured images already. And you can see it's creating things one by one. You can just see it's just literally just doing things one by one here. So mastering the art of layering. I mean, just look how cool this is. So I'm literally making a blog post right now. And now, yeah, it's making blog posts, as you can see, like elements of a bespoke suit, the tailoring process, caring for a bespoke suit, et cetera, et cetera. Now, this is just as good as something like auto-blogging AI, but it's more within your grasp because you're making everything, right, in code. Just look how interesting this is. So we've now got a layout, a header, a footer, a blog post template, the, the uh, home page, and then we have uh, the blog, and we have a few examples of the blog, and then we have an about page, and then we have a contact page. So now this is going to take a little bit of time. You can see at the bottom here it's starting. And then if I do npm run dev, this should start the... Um, the process start the uh, what's it called so not yet but very very soon in the preview something should appear so we'll wait so yeah, it looks like nothing went wrong here so we'll just go on preview and here we go we have uh, welcome to classic menswear recent posts we have the art of tailoring so if I click this it should actually okay there's a little the, you know sometimes there's gonna be errors of course but um, let's just refresh this. Let's click on blog. Okay, and then we'll click on this. Okay, that's not found because it hasn't made the page yet. So for some reason on here, there seems to, oh, okay, never mind. It did actually load. So we have this, obviously you'd have to remove this at the top here, but I mean, yeah, this is just as good as a lot of AI tools and, but it's not going on WordPress. It's literally building the entire website, which is pretty sick. So we have contact us page and about us page with placeholder images. We have a blog page. And now what you can do is you can say, please expand on this. So there are more blog posts, more information, um, and longer pages. Also, please create me a sitemap. So again, it's just going to keep doing that. Now it's going to expand on it. It's going to make it better. It's going to make it more interesting. It's going to make all of them longer. It's going to make them more. So you have more chance of ranking on Google. Now, to be honest with you, I would argue that this has just as much chance as ranking on Google as a WordPress website, right? The, and I've literally just made this in 
very, very little amount of time this has been made in. And then on the top right here, there's actually a deploy button as well, which we're going to check out very, very soon. But for now, let's just um, see what it comes up with. So it's changing the blog layout page. It's changing the about us page. And again, you could be like, my name is Hamish. I am the founder. Like You can put this at the beginning of the prompt. Now it's making the sitemap uh, .xml, which is pretty cool which will help you get indexed. You could then put this on, um, I don't know why it's xml.js. I don't think that would be allowed, but I've got no idea. So still it's making, uh, yeah, the sitemap just as I asked. Now it's making another um, blog post. Beautiful. It's using Markdown, by the way, if you're unfamiliar with uh, what .md is. So now as well, like you could very, 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 very easily get this to, you know, you could easily set up your own auto blogger that could do exactly what I'm showing you now, but just adds MD pages, .md pages to your website. I can't believe just how easy this is. Remember that I'm, you know, I'm, I've got a bit of experience coding. I'm not a coder, but all I've done so far is just talk to this bot, right? I haven't done anything special. So let's just click on here. There we go, there's one blog post. If I go, uh, how do I go back? There we go. Let's click on another one. There we go, another blog post has now been added. You can start to see how you can literally just build an AI generated website very, very quickly, very, very easily with zero experience as well. You can see here, the history of the necktie. Bang, that's now done. And then the about us page, I believe was expanded on. There we go, beautiful. And then the contact us page, yeah, and you can literally just keep going. You can keep saying, um, keep adding more pages and more SEO friendly aspects, such as internal links. It says here I've used all of my remaining tokens, actually, so I probably would have to. Um, that was all for free, right? But, you know, I would have to um, subscribe to get a few more pages, uh, a few more tokens. But. To be honest with you, 29 bucks a month is not terrible for something that can literally build anything for you. Now, I specifically chose um, something like a blog because I wanted to show that this is not just to build applications, but for building applications, that's where I'm super, super interested specifically in being able to build applications. Now, just for a few more examples, I asked it to rebuild um, Harbor uh, like the harbor um, harbor page, what's it called? The, the landing page, if I just go on harbor, it looks like this. This obviously looks really, really nice. Um, but I believe, okay, it's just rebuilding. So we'll give that a little bit of time. I asked it to rebuild it on Next.js instead of React. It's currently on React. Uh, we are thinking of moving over to Next.js, uh, which is why I specifically asked it to do it in Next.js. And it looks like it should be compiling and it should any second now load. It does take a little bit of time. By the way, if you don't know what Harbor is, please check out harborseo.ai. And if you want to support the channel, consider buying yearly with the discount yearly extra 33. That will allow us to make the best goddamn SEO tool in the world. Uh, we're currently working on the link building aspect of, of it. But look, I mean, how cool is this? It's made like... I mean, it's not perfect, obviously, and it doesn't look exactly like it, but it's made a pretty good guesstimate of, um, you know, what heart, the, the, all I did was send it an image, literally, of, uh, yeah, all I did was send it the image of, of Harbor like that, and it came out with, uh, with this. So, I mean, that's pretty damn cool, if you ask me. Um, and then another one, if we just go back here on the side, um, I asked it to... I asked it to make a classic menswear blog, but this one was even better than the one that I showed you in this video. So I, just, I do want to just make that load and show you quickly. So every time it, you go off uh, a project, it looks like it just uh, it stops the project or it um, deletes the project and it has to rerun npm install and npm run dev. If you don't know what those things mean, by the way, it literally just means um, Node.js. Uh, start the no, npm run dev means run the development file. Oh, this is the wrong one. Uh, which basically starts the project for you. That's what npm run dev is. Uh, let me just see. Oh, yeah, look, it re imports it now. Yeah, look, I'm importing your stack blitz project into Bolt. This may take a moment as I set everything up. 
Once it's ready, you'll be able to explore and interact with your code. Now, what would be very interesting is, can I put something? Okay. So I should theoretically be able to put Harbor into Stack Blitz and then import Harbor into Stack Blitz and I should be able to work on Harbor using this tool, which is exactly what I want. This is what it came up the first time, if you're curious. So if I click on the Art of Tailoring, look at that. Look how cool this is. This is just AI generated websites. If I click here, it will literally internally link and take me to other things and Oh my God, honestly, this is absolutely insane. And at the top here, style guide, look, we can even, you know, we can rank for style guide. This is absolutely epic, guys. Now, if I can also add a new project from GitHub into this, that's where this is going to get insane for me personally. Now, I don't know if that's possible, okay, but it looks like it might be. Anyway, that's not what this video is about. I did just want to quickly talk about um, Bolt.new, which seems to be better than Cursor. It seems to be better than V0 from Vercel. Honestly, this is cutting edge, and I really, really wanted to show people this because you can now AI generate websites and applications. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you're watching all the way to the end, you're an absolute legend, and I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out. Watch this video if you want to learn about the new GPT prompt engineer.